Hello and welcome to Tago.io. In this video, you are going to see how to get started with our platform. First, let's take a look at the documentation. Let's go to URL docs.tago.io. Here we can see some sections on the left menu. On getting started, we have how to add a device, build a dashboard, send data, and explore Tago. We are going to see these topics on this video, but you can access this documentation at any time to check out how the API and the admin work. Further on, we're going to see how to create an action. First, we need to create an account if you still haven't created one. You can click on Sign Up for Free, which is the first option of the left menu, or you can access URL admin.tago.io, then click on Create Account. On this page, fill up your name, email, password, your company's name, choose your time zone, and if you want to receive news about Tago's products, and click Register. After you register, you will receive an email to activate your account. Access your email and activate it. Access admin.tago.io again and log into your account. This is the admin. Here on the blue bar, you can see your name. If you click it, you can see your account options and sign out. On the left menu, there are a few options to interact with. There we have the device, bucket, analysis, action, and dashboards. These options will always be in the same order and on top. When you create your dashboards, they will appear on the left side below the dashboards. To send data to Tago, we need to have a device, so let's create one. Here you click device, then your list of devices will appear here. As we don't have any, our list is empty. To create a new one, click on the plus button. Here we have a few sections. On general information, type the name and feel free to write a description if needed. Every device needs a bucket to store its data. For now, choose create a new bucket with the same device name. There will be a video to talk about buckets. Hit save and our device is done. If we go to bucket, we can see that there's a bucket with our device name. The bucket is where the data from your device is stored, so all the variables you send from this device can be found here. After we have the device and the bucket created, we have a device token to send data to Tago. When you created your device, a default token was created. We need to copy this token to use on your API requests. To do so, go to Devices, edit your devices by clicking on it, and then go to Tokens. There you will see a list of tokens that belong to this device. On Default, click on Reveal, and here we have our device token. On this dialog, we have a QR code, and we have the token here. For now, let's click on Copy Token. Now let's send data to Tago. To use the API, we will use Postman. To get it, go to www.getpostman.com. According to our documentation, docs.toggle.io, going to API, then send data, we can see the URL and the API method. As we have the token in our clipboard, let's put it on Postman. Go to the headers on key type authorization, then paste the token on value. Now back to the docs, we can see the URL used to send data api.toggle.io slash data. Let's copy that and paste it on Postman. Here we can see that method is post, so let's set it on the Postman as well. All right, now we need to fill the information we want to send to Toggle. For this example, let's simulate a thermostat. We can see in the docs that we have some predefined data format that we can send. You can build your information based on this format. Here we have a list of available attributes. Any attribute different than the ones here will be ignored. Looking at the table, notice that the only required attribute is a variable. For this example, let's create a variable called temperature, a unit F, and some values. So now go to Postman, go to body, then we select raw. In the type, we select JSON, and type your JSON in. We will create an object with these attributes, variable temperature, unit F, value 100. Hit send, and here we see the result. One data added. That's all for sending data. Now we see our information on the admin. To do this, we will need to create a dashboard. On the admin, click on dashboards. Here you will see your list of dashboards. Click on the plus button and type your dashboard's name. Click save and you will see the dashboard. This dashboard is empty. We need to add widgets to it. You can click on the plus button or here add widget. To show the thermostat information, I'll use a gauge. Click on the gauge and type the title. To show the information, we need to select which variable to show. We have the variable temperature that was created the moment we sent the data. Click on variables and you will see the variable temperature on the list. Select it. 
Then on the type of gauge, let's choose solid. We have an advanced options under parameter configurations. Let's go there and set minimum and maximum. Let's say the range is from 100 to 200 and save. Now back to Postman. Let's send another value, let's say 150. You can see that the gauge is now at 150. Now let's send 200. Now that we know how to send data to toggle and display it, we will create an action that warns someone by email when the temperature is too high. On the admin, go to action, then click on the plus button to add a new action, then type the name. And on the action to be taken, choose send email. When you select email, a few new options are shown. Write the email that will receive the notification, then the subject and the message. Then we have to set the trigger, so click on trigger, then select the variable temperature. On type select number, then on condition, select greater than and the value, let's set 180. For this application, we should leave the trigger lock on. What this does is that when your device sends a value over 180, it will trigger the action and lock the trigger. So if your device sends 50 times a value over 180, you only receive one email, not 50 emails. Let's reset the trigger to 100, so choose the variable temperature, type the number and the condition, less than 100. By doing this, if your device lowers the temperature to 99, it will release the trigger, and if it goes up again, you will receive another email. That's all for this video on getting started with Tago. For more information, visit www.tago.io.